God, even in the wilderness, I can experience an oasis. Listen to this story from Genesis 13 in the Bible. So Abram left Egypt along with his wife and Lot and all that they owned. Abram was very rich in livestock, silver, and gold. Lot, who was traveling with Abram, also had become very wealthy with flocks of sheep and goats, herds of cattle, and many tents. But the land could not support both Abram and Lot, with all their flocks and herds living so close together, so disputes broke out between their herdsmen. Finally, Abraham said to Lot, Let's not allow this conflict to come between us or our herdsmen. After all, we are close relatives. The whole countryside is open to you. Take your choice of any section of the land you want, and we will separate. If you want the land to the left, then I'll take the land on the right. If you prefer the land on the right, then I'll go to the left. Lot took a long look at the fertile plains of the Jordan Valley. The whole area was well watered everywhere, like the Garden of the Lord or the beautiful land of Egypt. So, Lot chose for himself the whole Jordan Valley to the east of them. He went there with his flocks and servants and parted company with his uncle Abram. So Abram, he settled in the land of Canaan, and Lot moved his tents to a place near Sodom and settled among the cities of the plain. But the people of this area were extremely wicked and constantly sinned against the Lord. After Lot had gone, the Lord said to Abram, Look as far as you can see in every direction, north and south, east and west. I am giving all this land as far as you can see, and I will give you so many descendants that like the dust of the earth, they cannot be counted. Go and walk through the land in every direction, for I, the Lord, am giving it to you. Options Choices We encounter them every day. Why do we do what we choose? Answer We want more. We want better. We want to thrive and flourish and grow. Dreams of a fruitful tomorrow. Hopes for a brighter future. A thirst for comfort. Or even to just make the pain go away. I gotta go. I can't stay. What are you thirsty for? Lot's choice? Vegas, baby. Neon nourishment. Abram's choice? Desert refreshment. The sun and sand. Is one choice better than the other? Is one option more fulfilling or less? Had you been Lot, which area would you have chosen? Had you been Abram, what land would you have claimed? And why give Lot the first choice? I mean, Abram had seniority, right? Abram had paid his dues. Abram was the uncle, Lot was the nephew. If anyone was to choose first, shouldn't it have been Abram? What did Abram know that Lot didn't? Had Abram already learned that greener is not always better? That happiness is not always found in the lush? Did Lot's inexperience influence his decision? Did Lot's naivety direct his choice? 
And where is God in all of this? How does God lead when the lure of glitz and the season of dissatisfaction enter my world? Where is God when temptation strikes? What are you thirsty for? What does your jackpot lottery look like? One message of this Bible story that I invite you to consider is that fulfillment can even be experienced in the desert. But apart from God, if we were to read on in this story, we would see that no amount of glitz can quench my thirst. Apart from God, no amount of neon can fill the void in my heart. Have you experienced this truth? Have you walked in the sandals of Lot? Would you dare to consider this truth? That with God, even in the wilderness, we can experience an oasis? With God, I'm not alone when I'm alone. With God, I'm not out when I'm busted flush for Jesus is with you Jesus is all in for you what are you thirsting for where are you seeking fulfillment in the neon in the desert with God or apart from Him? Friend with God, when in the wilderness I can experience an oasis and catch this, even in the neon, I can experience His touch. Yep, you heard me right, both in the wilderness and the neon, Jesus can be found. Is Jesus in your life? Is Jesus a part of your world? Choices. We each have a choice. Are you choosing Jesus? I pray that you will. Mercy 
see You take me as I am You take me as I am You are the giver of truth You tell me who I am You tell me who I am Cleansed and forgiven I am yours Forever yours Spring of mercy You take me as I am You take me as I am You are the giver of truth You tell me who I am You tell me who I am Cleansed and forgiven I am yours Forever yours The darkness of the desert, pillar of fire, guides me. I will know it's time to move. Follow the cloud by day. When I'm feeling overwhelmed, I will surrender myself. I am leaving all behind. I will hold on to you. In the darkness of the desert, pillar of fire guides me. I will know it's time to move. Follow the cloud by day. When I'm feeling overwhelmed, I will surrender myself. I am leaving all behind. I will hold on to you. In the darkness of the desert, pillar of fire guides me. I will know it's time to move. Follow the cloud by day. When I'm feeling overwhelmed, I will surrender myself. I am leaving all behind. I will hold on to you. Take me as I am. You take me as I am. You are the giver of truth. You tell me who I am. You tell me who I am. Spring of mercy. You take. As I am, you take me as I am. You are the giver of truth. You tell me who I am. You tell me who I am. Cleansed and forgiven. I am yours, forever yours. Cleansed and forgiven. I am yours, forever yours.